Good morning, Sally Henderson, Change Mentor. Here I am with my walk and talk, and I want to just check in today um, to ask you if you really understand what strategies you're using as a high-performing leader that govern your leadership. I talk a lot with my clients about the tipping points of emotional maturity when it comes to being a high-performing senior leader. Because as a high-performing senior leader, you are very talented. You are used to achieving a lot and you've probably grown your career quickly. So strategies that you've become very accustomed to being successful and powerful and um, exciting for you actually they can be the very same strategies that hold you back once you start to um, operate at that very very senior level because perhaps you're too keen to be the fixer perhaps you're too keen to keep control or perhaps you just don't want to let go enough of some of the areas that you know you're extremely good at and it's very safe for you to deliver value in those buckets but actually when you get more senior, it's about developing a leadership style that will really, really support you to have the right impact and the right results and the right rewards. Now, I know that sounds incredibly obvious, but most of the senior leaders I work with, we have to work through this emotional tipping point, help them let go of old strategies that used to be incredibly successful so that they have the confidence and the commitment to really embrace new strategies, new learnings, and look in new sources for reward and recognition. Right, here we go, it's the road. You can tell my route to the train now for those regular watchers, can't you? So just stop and check in and think, what are the default strategies that you use as a high-performing leader that you think give you success? And are they actually the best ones, not just for how you're operating right now, but for where you want to get to by the end of this year in terms of your growth, the growth of your leadership or the growth of your people, or indeed all of that? What are the strategies? Do they work for you? Do they actually work against you? And how can you make sure that the leadership you're using on a default setting is the right style for what you have to deliver in terms of value and impact? And as ever, if I can help, just give me a call. Bye for now. Oh, take glove off to stop video. Bye for now.